this is Lisa from Our Forever Holiday. Does anybody have a cabinet like this in their bathroom and doesn't know what to do with it? Well, we're in the same boat. Take a look at this cabinet. It's next to our shower and it is above the toilet area. And I'm gonna open it up and show you exactly how it is in here. It's very dark and it's long and it goes back as long as this shower goes. So the, the cabinet itself is very, very long. And I'm gonna show you how difficult it is to get into this cabinet. I have a blow dryer in here. A Kleenex box, some deodorant, some hair products. And in order to get in here, you have to just about take everything out to get to anything. So that toilet paper back there, I have to use a grabber stick to get it out like that which is not very convenient. I have some towels in here, bath towels. In the meantime, everything is falling into the sink where I'm putting it all. So you can see how deep this cabinet is just by looking back here. It's so deep. There's no way any person's long arm is long enough for this. So this, this is me trying to stick my arm in here and it only goes back about halfway. So now that I've showed you all that, we're gonna come up with a solution. We're in a grand design, fifth wheel RV. It's a 35 foot. And my husband is gonna come up with a solution for this and fix me up with a cabinet that is user friendly. And you can make modifications on your, on your RV to make your life easier. We are full-time RVers and we've been doing this now for about six months full time and we are at a place where we're going to be able to make some modifications while we're here over the winter and this will be one of them. So due to the size of the cabinet and the impossible nature of trying to mount something in the back of it, I've created these little frames that are sh hold the shelves I wanted to put in. So you'll notice there's two braces going up and down on either side, and the other side of it, of course, is identical to that. Two baskets are set up to be on each shelf, and the one thing you want to make sure of is when you locate the shelves on these frames, is that they don't hit the hinges on the door. So I actually did it wrong the first time and had to move them, so Hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. So get a little closer view of it here. They're just a one by two on top and a one by four on the bottom going across. And the actual members holding it up, I found at Lowe's in their scrap lumber pile. And the shelves themselves, as we rotate around to the other side here, are just one by six pine. And they actually fit quite well in the space we had based on that. So the sliders are not expensive sliders. We could have gotten more expensive ones, but I think these will work fine. And the mount then is going to be just in the front of the cabinet, right behind the door. And I'll point here a little bit. I'm just gonna run a screw from the back of this member into the front. So toward you, toward us, and the same thing on this side. So I'll have drawings of all this stuff attached to this video. Okay, we have two projects going here. One is the two shelves that are going in the cabinet behind the shower. These two here. The other one is the shelf that's going underneath the cabinet in the bathroom. You'll notice it's kind of a weird shape, but it's that way to get past the piping and the, the mounting clips on the side. Hi, we, we had to make a couple of experiments here in order to get the right color we wanted to match our 310GK uh, R, and that's a Grand Design Solitude. And this color is Jacobine. 
by Minwax, and this other one is uh, a uh, silvered gray 282 by Minwax. And what we did was we put uh, one coat of this over the top, the Jacobine, and let it sit for just a few minutes and then wiped it and then added another coat a little later after it dried of the silvered gray to make the color tone that we wanted for our bathroom. All right, so we have now stained and sealed all the shelf materials here. So the step we're going to take now is to put the framework in and put the shelves in and mount the framework. So here we go. This is the right hand one. goes in like this. You can see it's stained. Get too close. Okay, give me shelves. So here's the shelves in there. They're not mounted yet. light on the subject so over here we're here we're just gonna put one screw in here I've pre-drilled the hole and the same thing will be on the other side So everything is in. We'll show you what we have here. Come on around. So we have two shelves. The slide works a little harder. We'll be putting some handles on the outside here yet. Other than that, Project done. You can look all the way to the back. It's a mile back there. Probably echoes. All right. Go. Hi, I'm here to show you the completed uh, modification of our cabinet. We have two shelves now. The shelves go back all the way as deep as this cabinet goes. And we have four baskets on here and it's about 36 inches deep and the four baskets work perfectly because they hold a lot of stuff and the space was not wasted anymore because we have two levels here so the baskets push in by the handle and we added these handles on here which makes it really nice that's an addition that we just added on so this is the front of the cabinet and I'm really pleased with my husband's wonderful idea to create this and put it together. It works great. I'm totally happy and I hope you guys can do this as well. Please like, subscribe, and ring the little bell so you'll be notified of all of our videos and follow us on YouTube so you can join us for our adventures and learn about the places and things we'll be seeing and doing and also learn some modifications for your rigs we'll have links below 
with all of the different parts we used in the video and for the cabinet below the video. This is another modification that we did in this bathroom underneath the bathroom sink. In this cabinet next to the shower we added this shelf and you you will remember us staining this shelf here earlier in the video so it came out really nice and it's working great I can store all my towels here and I have plenty of room underneath plus all my towels are up here and it works out great because it gives me a whole nother layer of storage under here which is fantastic and Mike um, created this and he used some uh, bookshelf uh, pieces and then you'll see in the picture we're going to add that there's just little clips like you would put in a bookshelf for a shelf in here to hold this up and you can put it on different levels which is nice I chose this level because I can still take out a lot of things here and I can have taller items under here and this works great like I said for my towels I have all my different hand towels washcloths and bath towels here and I even have some beach towels under here as well so that's perfect I love, love, love all of the modifications.